What's up, boys? It's Friday night. She's done. Look at her. Cleaned up the panels for the occasion. Forgive me if I'm a little uh, winded and lost for words at this point. This is my second, third time making this video. Uh, long story. I won't bother explaining. But, yeah, there she is. And, guys, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I've been looking at these panels for months. As most of you know, I painted these panels quite a while ago. And um, I was a little upset at myself after a while. I, I wish that I had gone with the uh, shadowed edge, you know, the black shadowed edge. But I didn't. I, don't, I talked myself out of it for some reason. And um, now, tonight, seeing it all together, cleaning the panels up, I like it. I'm, I'm back I'm back in love with the paint job and I went through all the stickers I have nothing nothing I have seems to work I think it's gonna have to be a you know I'll find somebody to make some custom stickers kind of thing so we'll see but um but yeah she's done man you guys heard her run the other day I told you when I got back from vacation if these things weren't in my mailbox I was gonna buy the alloy upgrades well Trevor Thank you, sir. The uh, owner of Area RC and the man behind Ghost Racing. I get a lot of questions about where to buy this, guys. Um, it's it's one of those things where if if you haven't watched my previous the previous videos as far as how I ended up with this, I um, which I'm very thankful by the way at this point that I did end up with this. It's a badass RC, and I see why. Um, you know, those of you guys that went out and spent the money on the Kraken Vector spent it because it really is. It, it's a great looking RC. Um, seeing it on the ground tonight for the first time and, and having the actual ass end in, in one piece and being able to just move it around and it just, it, it's a badass looking rig, man. It really is. And, you know, I understand it doesn't necessarily perform the way a lot of people wanted it to and hoped it would, you know, so I get that. Um, which is one of the reasons why the fact that it's a budget build has, um, you know, has me convinced that I'll be happy with it no matter what, which is, you know, it's one of the reasons why I, I wanted it to, I wanted to go that route with it. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. And we've already talked about all that, so I won't get into it, but Trevor, thank you. He not only sent me the Heim joint that I needed, he sent me the whole rear trailing arm set up. He sent me everything, the, the mounting bracket, the uh, two trailing arms, the, you know, four heim joints that are, you know, attached to them. And, but I can't tell you how much that was appreciated because here I am thinking, oh, so I'll have a whole extra setup minus one, you know, one um, heim joint because this, of course, is the broken one. Well, as I'm putting it together, the... Um, the bolt that goes, you know, the through bolt, and it, it's nutted on this end. I was trying, I was turning too much on this side, basically pulling, pulling the bolt into the recess to get it tight, and I snapped it. I split that seam in the plastic. So, guys, just beware not to do that if you have a crack vector and you're uh, you're putting it together. Remember, this side is going to be threaded. You know, the threads will have worn their grooves in there, and it's going to need to be screwed all the way through until the tip is coming out. Then put your bolt on. Don't try to pull it through. And don't make it incredibly tight either because that pressure will, will split it. So, yeah, it's all together. It's in one piece. Dude, thank you for sending me the whole thing. You know you didn't have to do that, so that was really appreciated. Again, Rich G, Alex G, you guys are awesome. Rich is the reason that beautiful crack Vector pipe is is um, so nicely mounted and, and tucked up under there. He donated that for this project. And Alex G is the reason that um, it has a, a brand new Zenoa clutch on it in it and a Losi servo steering servo that I that I needed to to finish this. So and you guys didn't have to do that. And I you know everybody honestly i can't tell you guys enough how much i appreciate all the comments the tips the advice those of you guys that are getting into fifth scale or want to get you know want to get into fifth scale that keep me motivated to make the videos i don't even know how this has come this far but this particular rig 
I'm having the opportunity to, or had the opportunity to build it with a little bit of experience under my belt and, you know, I guess a better understanding of everything overall. And it's been that much more fun. And not to mention, guys, this thing literally less than $50 out of pocket. Granted, again, I'm, I'm not bragging about it because there was donations. But what I'm trying to say is mission accomplished. You know what I mean? Like fucking mission accomplished. That is the budget build of the of fifth scale history right there. And, you know, it actually looks pretty sick. I think it does anyway. I mean, like I said, I, I see why, you know, when, when the crack Vector came out, I remember like, holy shit, it was, a, it's, it, it's got a mean look to it. And I know it's not the best all around fifth scale and it has its issues, but I see why you guys spent the money. And, you know, you, most of you guys know the story behind how I ended up with this one. Um, I'm really thankful that I have it. And, you know, I know some of you guys that you know, want something like this or are saving to get something like this. Let me just say that I'm very thankful for the collection that I've amassed. And I know this is nothing compared to what some of you guys have, um, you know, have for pots and, and for rigs. But I'm thankful for it. I just am. You know, I remember before uh, these two, that, that Revo and that, that uh, T-Max over there, the reason these three fifth scales are here, you know, that's where I got the fever, you know, and, and you guys know how it is. Once you get that fever, man, you're like... You can't stop looking at pots. You're like driving. You're sitting at red lights. You're thinking about pots. You're thinking about which clutch will work, this, that. Yeah, you know, I'm on the toilet. I'm looking at pots. I'm looking at pots for rigs I don't even have. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. It's just such an addiction, man. I just love getting pots in the mail and looking at them and putting them together. You know what I mean? And seeing the shit when it's done. So, you know, and again, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just thankful for it because I remember when I told my wife I wanted this thing and she looked at me like a math problem, man. She was just looking at me like she was looking through me like what the – I'm seriously marrying this guy? He's talking about buying a $1,000 toy truck. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And so that was a hump that we got over, which, of course, as you can see now, we got way over that hump and we're well beyond it at this point. She understands that it's not a toy truck. But – I agreed to save $40 a week out of my paycheck to get this. You know how friggin' long that was going to take me, but I didn't care. That's how bad I wanted it after watching the videos and seeing what was, you know, I just, that's, that's what I was willing to do. You know what I mean? And guys, I had the money, you know, we had the money. It wasn't like I couldn't, you know, but she couldn't justify pulling money out of savings or just spending the money she felt like if I wanted something this frivolous then I needed to you know I needed to earn it and so Christmas rolled around I had two three three hundred fifty dollars of it saved she decided let's spend the the rest of the money let them get it for Christmas and man you guys know if you've seen the first video I'm shit I'm still catching shit because I said holy cow so many times in that video I was trying not to swear because my stepson was in the video trying to help he was excited too you know and yeah man so just I'm thankful man I really am and I'm I'm humbled by everybody's um generosity and the this build has just been it's been that much more fun because of it and I can't wait to beat the shit out of it so let this be the last time it ever looks this clean Cause we're gonna put this thing through the, we're gonna put it to the test and see what it's made of. I know Trevor, if you're watching, if you're listening, I know you're waiting to see. Uh, a lot of people gave this a lot of shit. I took a lot of shit for this clone, and I appreciate everybody who's uh, who's kind of backed up and maybe opened their mind just a little bit, you know, and and maybe looked closer at how I ended up with it and why I have it, and you know. Kraken, if you're watching or listening, I am very appreciative of your design as this is the reason this beautiful piece of fifth scale machinery sits in front of me. And um, yeah, you know, so this is it. You guys heard it run the other day. And like I said, I'm, I know I've been saying this over and over again. I'm waiting. I'm not waiting. I got to stop saying that. I'm not waiting. I'm procrastinating because I haven't done it yet. Why, I don't know, but this measly little check valve for the tank vent. I think I may just go get one tomorrow at Home Depot. You know, weed whacker style, like the one I'm running on the X2. Um, and, and you know, we'll, we'll call it 100%. So that's it. I'm, I'm back in love with the 
with the paint job. The suspension feels really good. Uh, there's another YouTuber, well, a buddy of mine from Ireland, Mock. I've been, you know, communicating with him because he too just finished his um, Kraken Vecta. It's an actual Kraken, um, Kraken Vecta Five. He just finished it. It's got an OBR read engine in it, uh, full mod, I believe, with a badass Ola map pipe. Beautiful build, nice looking wrap. But he's running the rest of the, the rig stock. So we've been, you know, going back and forth because it'll be interesting to see how his, you know, Kraken holds up and what issues he runs into. And, you know, we've agreed to kind of share notes and, you know, help each other out along the way. So, what you know, that's the plan at this point, I guess, just to run this thing, have some fun with it and see how things go. You know, basically avoid, once again, this is, this is how, you know, this is the... I guess the uh, the motto around here is, you know, fifth scale on a budget. That's basically what it's been since, you know, I started the road with the Roven. Um, you know, things got out of hand a little bit, but that was only because I made some money selling some of those other SCZ engines. But aside from that, that's basically been a budget build too, and, and, and the same goes for the X2. So, yeah, we'll avoid spending money. We'll upgrade as, you know, if we absolutely... 100% have to otherwise we're gonna have some damn fun with this thing and I did realize this morning when I was putting everything together that I'm gonna have to silence that pipe to run it at Shady Oaks uh, racetrack where I raced the the X2 but that's not a big deal I have a silencer and there's enough back here going on to where I can mount it because of that little um, uh, stinger you know the way it's designed i could easily mount something to that that'll be sturdy enough for the track you know just for the day or whatever because i imagine that pipe is gonna be a screamer and that little king motor engine man don't sleep on that thing i'm i'm hoping it'll at least move this big ass rig but i have a feeling i have a weird 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 feeling that that thing's gonna rip and this is gonna definitely surprise some people i think it's gonna surprise me and I even have a stranger feeling, which you guys will probably call me crazy because of all the problems that everybody knows about with these rigs. Um, I have a feeling this one's going to be my most reliable. And a couple of long-time fifth-scale guys agreed. You know, They said the same thing. It's, it's one of those things where it's, it's just how it goes. Normally, the shit that you don't have the most money into and the most time invested into tends to be the most reliable. It's just how it works. So I'm really hoping that... Um, you know that 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 is the case because that'll be that'll be even cooler. So thanks, guys. I'll stop rambling. I did a quick video a walk around that I'm gonna put some music to, and I will post that too. It's um, a video of it on the ground, you know, and you guys get a chance to see how the suspension sits and how she looks. So, so yeah, that's it, man. That is it. In a nutshell, we did it. And I don't know how long it took. I'm gonna go back to the initial. Um, uh, pictures in the, the first video I did, you know, the date and see what it was, see how long it took. Um, and, it, and it, to be honest, it only took, for the most part, the only reason it took as long as it did was because of my time being limited. Um, it wasn't necessarily a, a POTS issue or anything like that. And that's one of the, ben, you know, one of the other cool things about this build. I found that uh, Ghost Racing did an incredible job building this. Everything is super tight. I checked every possible nut and bolt. Uh, Rich G, who's got uh, some, he's got experience with the Kraken Vecta. He uh, mentioned some, you know, some areas needed Loctite. You know, like like most fifth scales, um, but some specific areas. And bro, they they were already Loctited. They're super tight. Everything is just. Everything feels good. The suspension feels good. All the gears feel good. I mean, there was that initial issue with this, the actual drive shaft itself that runs, you know, uh, right up through the center of the, of the chassis. It, it when it rolls, it kind of has a wobble to it, like a, a stall point where it just barely nicks the chassis brace. I don't know, you know, I don't know if that's going to be an issue. I really don't. I think it's just the pivot and the way it moves within the drive cup. I noticed the Vertigo chassis brace actually has a, um, a chamfer in it so that the, the, uh, the uh, axle isn't as close, so the drive shaft isn't as close to the, doesn't have the, the opportunity to hit it, but I don't know. But it's just, it's 
it was put together real well and I'm impressed with it. And it was really relatively easy to, to finish it off. Um, you know, it just was, and it went together real well. Unlike other builds where it's been issues with, with alignment or mesh or, you know, just areas that were really tough to work in or tight to work in, or, you know, how the Baja is, it's like a damn puzzle. You put something together before you, you know, you were supposed to, now you got to take the whole fucking thing apart it, this has just been, it's been a pleasure. I guess it's probably the cheesiest and easiest way to put it. It's been a pleasure. So if you guys ever have a chance to get your hands on a Kraken Vector and you haven't had, you know, any experience with it, I have a feeling you'll be, you'll be, ple you know, pleasantly surprised. I think you'll be, I think you'll be happy with it. And who knows? I don't know. You know, maybe this thing will be a total fucking nightmare. I hope it isn't. <laughs> I really don't. You know, I, I mean, I really do. I hope it isn't. So. Stay tuned. We're going to get some running video as soon as I can possibly get out. This Florida heat is obnoxious, man. It's been like 97, 98 degrees, which with the humidity down here will just, it just sucks the life out of you, man. There's no way you're going to stand in a field and tune an engine or, you know, and keep in mind, I don't have to break this engine in. It has a good six or seven tanks on it. Um, it was starting to just really wake up when I had the issues with the, with the, um, uh, the tank vent that I didn't know were tank vent issues at the time, but it was just starting to wake up. I was getting a lot of power out of it, um, and that was up at the track in the X2. So, yeah, so, you know, there's no break-in required. We're just going to go, we're going to go balls to the wall and see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned. And, again, thanks for watching. Those of you guys that have subscribed recently, I appreciate it. My channel is really ticking, you know, as far as subscribers are concerned. It seems like the way YouTube has made changes recently that really affect the way um, the small guys' videos end up, you know, out there and in front of people. So that's pretty cool. So I remember when I first started making videos, it wasn't like that. I got a subscriber maybe every few months, and that's how it was for the first few years. And now recently, more recently, you're hearing the big guys talk about how their videos aren't being, you know, they're wondering or worrying about the videos. Are they being, you know, their subscribers being notified? Are they being, you know, uh, mixed into the, you know, the daily, hey, these are new videos, uploads, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I, I'm, there's too much to that bullshit that I just, I, I don't have the time for. And that's not the reason I'm making these videos. At this point, I'm just doing it because you guys told me you enjoy it. So, and I enjoy meeting people and talking to people, um, and that's why I'll continue to do it. It's it's kind of an uncategorized video series. So, and I like it that way. You know, you can't really put a name on it. So, I tried in a way. You know, with the whole fifth scale on a budget, because essentially that's what it's been. Like I said, so and and that's the way it's going to remain. I have a big family, and I can't justify spending shitloads of money. You know, as much as I'd like to, because if my, you know, if I allow myself to spend the money that, you know, I, the shit I look at all day long, I mean, dude, you wouldn't even be able to walk in here. You'd be stepping over fucking goodie bags and goodie boxes. It's out of control. This hobby, it just makes you, makes you crazy. You just want to buy pots. You know what I mean? I just, I want truckloads of pots, boxes. I'm like a maniac. So I'm really proud of myself with this one. Thanks again, guys. I'll, um, I'll get a running video, an actual moving running video as soon as possible.